fuck is going on? Why don't you two gentle fucks tell me what it is I can do for you at 7 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday? Listen, I've got this shit. You know why we're here. So originally, the plan was just to take your friend, the dead one over there, with us. It looks like you're gonna have to take his place. It's time to pay up. Here's how it's gonna go. Either one of you raise those my way, and you're both gonna be a couple of fucking Jackson Pollocks on the wall behind you. Look, you would have shot me if you were man enough when I walked through the fucking door. You killed your best friend. Your boss is done. Your income is gone. And so is your white pony ride. Let's face it, you're a fiend, kid. I know your family. They're gonna drop you quicker than you drop that little slut you've been whoring about town with. I have you know that about two hours ago I had my dick buried so deep inside that slut's ass! The one you're referring to, I assume! My girlfriend! And as for this fuck! He did it to himself. God knows why. Let's just get this shit over with. You know you're dead already. But if this is how it's gonna go, then roll the curtains. can't fight fate. I tell you, if God's in this room, he's one sick fuck. Name, date of birth. Nothing to say for yourself? It's all right. No one leaves here without full disclosure. Taking the six. glass. Drew, is it? Of course it is. What is this? Am I being charged? We'll get to that when we get there. Now, you are, in fact, Mr. Glass, I presume. Yeah. See, how hard was that? And you are Mr. Glass of September 1984. Yeah. Born to Veronica Black. Deceased December of 1985, correct? Father unknown, assumed and adopted by one Lawrence Fitzgerald Glass. What is this about? We'll get to that. I promise. Just answer as I ask, however trivial or menial that may sound. So, am I being charged? Oh, well, let me explain to you what it is exactly that I do. 
I'm a glorified buffer of sorts, a um, bag man in my previous life. The reason I do what I do and the man in charge chose me is because I have the impeccable ability to remain nonpartisan and unwavering while retaining the relevant amount of empathy it takes to sit across this table. Now, we're going to cover a lot of ground in a short period of time, so we will start small and simple and follow all the splitters as they surface. So I need you to tell me how you got here. What happened? I'm not exactly sure. Too much too soon, huh? Okay, what about the previous day? Where did that begin? A blowjob? A cup of coffee? Sudoku? It doesn't have to be significant or profound. We're just trying to find a beginning. Nine times out of ten, these things start with a car ride or a woman. Started with both. Proceed. Tell me about the girl. Taking a fucking attitude with me. Don't forget, I took my night off to drive the fuck out of here to bum fuck nowhere. Did you give it a fucking break? You know what? I want to be doing this shit either. I thought you was gonna talk to him first. Yeah, I thought about it. What's the point? <laughs> What'd Larry say? I'd say we're doing him a favor. Now that we're out here, I just think it's better this way. <laughs> you thought things were fucked up before, shit's only gotten worse. You ain't got to church it up for me, man. You ace Drew, and your debt with LG is done. How the fuck you planning on doing this? To pull off from that fucking reservoir. Do you even have a piece? Under the seat. Jesus. And you just decided to tell me this. Well, don't waste time being all sentimental. Watch your fucking mouth. Mother Earth. On whom the moon and stars will shine. Mother Earth. You are so divine. Years? Way too long. Grown. How was your flight? Not too bad. A little tight. Only motherfucker I knew charged a fucking prop plane. Hey, let me get hit off that bottle. Hey, hold your shit. Where's your manners at? You want a Christmas drooby? I'm good, man. I gave it up. Gave it all up. You serious? I had to, man. She was killing me. You telling me with the genes you got, that don't add up, man. You telling me you, you quit shooting dope and you, you can't even have a drink with your friends? I'm proud of you, man. I'm serious. I know how hard it is to quit that shit. It's fucking brutal. Especially with that shit LG's putting out on the streets. It's got the whole damn town hooked. Hope you weren't expecting to come back here and find things cleaned up, man. That'll blow this motherfucker off the map. 
not expected much. Been gone too long to have any expectations. I seen Junebug around town. She been around. How is she? Well, she sure as hell ain't clean and sober like you are, I can tell you that. But she don't go far. Larry's got her hooked, so she don't wander. I didn't want you to hear it like this, but it's not so good. Uh, I knew what would happen when I left. <laughs> You got a lot of nerve, little birdie, coming out of here ordering me around. You're more liable to catch buckshot out here than any kind of help. I can tell you, Fiendin'. You must be coming all the way out here, raising hell among us common folk. The fuck you thinking? I know that Jew daddy of yours taught you some kind of manners. I know that dreidel spinner taught you that much. Can we just fucking talk inside? We please? can talk right here. These my peoples, and you're fucking up their shit. They all trying to get their fix, too. And they here day in and day out. Why I drop my shit and cater to you? Oh, no, fucking please, man. Just please let me fucking... See, little birdie? This is why I don't like you and yours. Y'all got this air of <laughs> entitlement. It makes me fucking sick. Think you better than the rest of us? I'm a reasonable man, though. I'm gonna listen to what you got to say. But if it don't benefit me, I'll cut that cunny out your crotch and snail mail it back to your daddy. Get the fuck in the trailer. Mr. Glass. It's nice to hear your voice again. How have you been keeping up? You know, just trying to make you look good. Seems like I caught you all in the middle of something. 
just preparing for the evening's mass. Come in, sit down. I'll stand, thanks. I can see time has been generous to you, Father Francis. You've aged well. Preparing for mass, huh? Yeah, I remember how that whole shindig goes. Yes, it is quite a delicate task. Well, you'd think after what's it been, 40 years of doing this? Become like second nature to you bead mumblers. Is there something we can do for you, boy? Francis. Drew, I'm sorry, he's in quite a mood today. Now, is there something you came here to say, or can I get back to work? Okay. I'll tell you what you can do for me. You can grab that bankroll and that dope you got under the tabernacle so I could get up out your hair, let you get back to your gospel. Drew, Larry hasn't given us donations for a long time. All these accusations and innuendos you're making, I can assure you are inaccurate and unappreciated. You tell me one more lie, Father. And I will mount you on that crucifix and let you bleed out your ass. Now, we both know you're no fucking martyr. So do yourself a favor. And I can remind you of how gentle you were with me. Show the boy to it, Jack. Go ahead now. What you got to say? Something got fucked up, okay? And nobody's holding, so I, um... I know better than to come down here if it isn't gonna be worth your while. So I got over a thousand, and, um... I just need enough to get me through, like, just the next few days till we get back up. See? I was right. I knew you was itching. Well... You know I got it. Got plenty of it. But your money ain't no good here. Take a look out that window. You see my peoples. Every one of those sad fucks outside more loyal to me than they are to their spouse or their preacher. Cause this shit right here got a grip on them tighter than a cunt. Or a crucifix. What can I do? Just fucking tell me. What can you do? Why don't you try that again? All sexy like for me. What can I do? <laughs> My dick didn't even hiccup at that. But don't trip, Birdie. I wouldn't let you smoke this pole anyhow. You ain't my type. And like I said, I don't fold for any breed of beef. I tell you what, though. You got balls coming out here. And for that, I'll deal with you. But I don't want your money. Come with me.
Just come sit here for a minute, all right? I need to talk to Grace. What's going on? Who's the little one? Is that the girl? Hondo had her. Hondo? Darla's ex? What the hell were you doing with him? Someone knocked off all the shit that came in this morning. I've been so fucking sick, so I went... I went down there. He was gonna bury me if I didn't take her with him. Can you watch her for a couple of hours while I figure out what I'm gonna do? Sure. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah, he just shook me up. He had her, he had her tied up in a fucking shed. It must have been like 100 degrees in there. Lord knows what he's been doing to her. Hello. Take care of your business. I'll get her fed, okay? She's safe here, mamas, don't worry. Just go out and take care of what you gotta do. You hungry? Hmm? Some fish sticks I can heat up for you. How's that sound? What's your name, sweetheart? Rooney. Rooney? I've never met anyone with that name before. You're adorable, you know that? <laughs> Hey, you got the money for Lair? Yeah, it's in the bedside table. Hey, listen, I gotta go do some big girl things, but I'll be back in a few hours, okay? Listen, nothing's gonna happen to you now. You're safe here. Grace can take really good care of you. When I come back, maybe we'll go get some ice cream. Does that sound good? I'll see you soon. I don't care who comes to the door. Don't let anyone inside. I got you. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with her. Be careful. All right, I'll see you soon. A little boat. You do? I like that catfish. Yeah, well, who don't like fresh catfish? Oh, you're a bottom feeder, huh? Mm-hmm. That's my world. Yours, too. Yes, sir. I like them. I like beans, man. I like beans, catfish, coleslaw. Jesus, I love cooking beans. I love that soul sauce on that, too. Oh, oh you sure. Yeah. Come on, sugar. Daddy's little dove. Never a day or dollar short. The key to a well-oiled machine is efficiency. Ain't that right, baby, huh? How old are you, sweetheart? Hmm. 23. God damn, you look good. Hey, I see those gears grinding. She ain't like the others. It's my Clydesdale. Breeder. My sea biscuit. <laughs> I raised her myself. What was that? The usual? Mm -hmm. Good girl, huh? What do you want? Mister, sir. Uh, is uh, the phone is for you. Take a message. Ah, uh, pero, pero she's, she's crying. Who? She's, the, the woman. Who? The woman. She's Jesus. crazy. I can understand her. Christ! Go on. The hell I pay you for. I'll be right back. Huh? 
God damn, you got a nice looking ass. What are you gonna do with that? I don't know. What do you want me to do? You a freak? I can tell a freak anytime. My law. Where'd you come from? Just made the pickup when I came over. Anything unusual? No. What what do you mean? I gotta go, Ronnie. I'll get back to you on them licenses. And uh and you if anything uh like an emergency happens while I'm gone, you'll call me, right? Mm -hmm. I'll see you. All right. Right now, Daddy's gone. Why don't you, uh, why don't you bring that on around here and let me toss it up and play with it a little bit. Forgive me, son, but I asked about the girl. Now, all of this is fascinating. Um, we need to get to where you come into play. What is it that you're after, exactly? Hey, I talk to you for a minute. What you want, mister? How are you today? I'm worried about how I is. What you doing out here? I'm looking for a man named Pope. You say you're looking for a Pope? No, a man named Pope. He used to live around here. Mister, you know who Pope is? Yeah, I do. I know Pope longer than you've been alive. Is that right? That's right. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I got a hundred dollars. Anybody who might lead me to him. Hey, Squirt, you stay right here, all right? Now you say what now? I said I got a hundred dollars for anybody who take me to Pope. Tell you what. You keep that Benjamin. You come out here looking all slick like. You look like the kind of guy I might know where to find a bag of eyes. Yeah. I might be able to help you with that. 
Here we're gonna do. Old squirt back there, he got a boat. He's gonna take you a quarter mile up the river. I ain't getting in that boat because I'm scared of skin. But here's the deal. I'm gonna hold my end, you hold yours. You don't. I'm gonna string you up like a southern wind chime, you understand? Oh, you're gonna be happy with what I got for you all. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. All right. Hey, Squirt. You gonna hop in with this man here? He gonna take you up the river, all right? You gonna be all right? All right. Is this something I should have an attorney for? What are you guilty of? Again, I apologize for the implication in the format, but usually when one requests representation, it's an admission of guilt. Now, we can go down that avenue, but there's a mess here. And although there are other subjects who most certainly involved, you, in fact, were the only one they brought to me, not anyone else. I can assure you forfeiting this opportunity would be something to regret, as there won't be another opportunity for reprieve. Understood? I think I do. So what will it be? Are we done? Very well. Wait. Is it? Don't go nowhere. I mean, don't you go nowhere. I'll be back. Up there. Ben. February 92. I don't know how the fuck you remember that. How are you? What the fuck does it look like I am? I don't deserve a little chit chat. I mean, I just drove in a car for about an hour. Got stuck in a boat with a mute and nearly killed myself walking up here. Been well. Why don't you get to the point why you're here? It's it's my son. Remember him? Yeah, the one you adopted. That's it. Well, he's gone off the rails. He's got a jihadist agenda. He just hurt me and he's just hurt me in ways that I can't forgive him. I don't really know how to say this, but uh So you want me to put him down? I like the way you say that. 
What's gonna be double for family? Double? Did I start? I said double. Thing about it is, I need it done yesterday. That's why you came to me, isn't it, Dunn? All right, all right, no, that's all right. I'm just, okay, just let me know. Let me know. Smoke, please. Yes, well, it says here that you have an uncle. Was he related to your mother? Yeah. A Mervyn Crenshaw Glass. Marv, yeah. still be here. I never moved, boy. You know better than that. What happened? Never mind, I'll tell you about it later. What's in the cup? Green tea. Green tea? Oh, man, you got queer on me? Hey, give me a swing. <laughs> Man, just when I thought I could draw one. <laughs> thought you'd appreciate that, pay off the house or maybe the car payment. Oh, boy, you've been gone a minute. Fuck the car on the house. It's all bullshit, babe. Just leave the chair out here. It's fine. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> Come on. Here's for your troubles, Marv. do it now. You're the only blood I got left. You know, I hate to spoil you, but it feels right. Oh, boy. I've been in the game a while. <laughs> Big man would have punched out my teeth a long time ago if he's going to. Don't take being the dope fiend to feel like that. Brings you around. <sighs> Flowing this in vacation time or something. You could call it that. Got some evils of my own to clear out. 
some business to ensure pleasure. Just the trash man this time. You know where a trash man finds himself at the end of his day? Where's that? Stand alone, right in front of the pile of crap he's collected. Covered in shit. <laughs> I suspect I'll be covered from head to toe when I'm done. Uh, well, I'm sure you will be. Marv. Don't fall out of that high now. Man shouldn't be allowed to live like that and uh, not taste hell for it. <sighs> A man's got to have a code. What kind of man is he? Why'd you think I came back? Make good with all the folks I've taken from and taken from me? Start over? Nah. I came back to say my piece. Get some much needed sleep. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I learned is that you, you don't have to be six feet under to be cycled out of existence. Uh, but the truth is, I've been wandering this earth without a soul for years. And, and, and the only sense I can make out of the extent of my existence is this... So some sort of fucked up punishment for my failure to live. When I go, and I pray God, I hope it's soon, but when it happens, if I'm lucky, it'll be with a needle in my arm or at my side. Just a comfortable compromise. Don't be like me. <laughs> eh, will you cross over? Well, you make sure you got some truth to put on the table. Or heaven's gonna burn your eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Take a seat. Uh, you, you know, dear, I won't have to call you back later. Hmm. Well, well, well. Prodigal son. How the hell are you? Good. So maybe we just ought to cut the bullshit, huh? Quit acting so excited to see each other. I had Penguin over at St. Vincent. She called me just to let me know that you were in town. And before you come all over yourself trying to explain, uh, let me just say I, I'm very aware of the special relationship you had with Jackie and Uncle Frank. But I, I do indeed need to insist that I get back what is mine. 
is more than just my mouth that relies on what you took. So why don't you just get to what you want? We can let bygones be. Just like that. Well, hell yeah, just like that. And if I don't? My God, son. You know when they talk about a thorn in your side? That's what you are to me. So what are we going to do, boys? <laughs> what are we going to do about old Sporto here, huh? <laughs> I'll make it easy on you. Look at that. I will guarantee that this little treasure will remain intact if we can just work out a compromise. What's that say on there? Oh, to, to my daddy. Love little June bug. Oh, God. Get up. Get up. Get on up. You can walk around and act like you went out in the world and made something of yourself. But if you think for a fucking second that you could come in here and take what is mine, you got another thought coming. When that fucking junk box mother of yours topped herself off, who? Who brought you in? Who took care of you? Who fucking loved you? You and Junebug. I know you come here with a mission. On the war path with fire in your eyes. Let me tell you right now, what you come here to save is dead and gone, boy. You have my shit here tonight! And I'll let you both live. How about that? Huh? How about that? Do we understand each other? Do we understand each other? Huh? Get the fuck out of my office. You two, both of you, get the fuck out of here.
Where's the boy? This is you and me. Okay. Cigarette? A pledge. Oh. encourage anyone with any information regarding this incident to please contact the local authorities immediately. Friends and family describe the meaning of the and intelligence role with the lesser animals. My life, I know. Uh, I'll see her in the yard a lot. Talk to Josh. And uh, we'll Deidre? Yeah, I gotta call you back. Oh, yeah, I'll have her there by 6 o'clock. Hi. Hey. Look who the fuck it is. I thought you were dead by now. You know, Taylor should be home any minute. She's in the first grade now. Yeah, they got her in one of those immersion programs. She's learning French. You want anything, baby? Like coffee or? No. You seen Raymond yet? I actually came by to surprise him. Is he around? He's here. Got himself a legitimate business, a regular entrepreneur. I'll let him elaborate. Okay. Call me Sergeant. Call me Sergeant Peppercock. Okay, Peppercock. Yeah. Yes, give it to me. Yes, Sergeant. Oh. Libby. Libby, what the fuck? What the fuck? Did Libby not tell you you were shooting in here? She mentioned you were a small business owner. She didn't say anything about you being the second coming of Johnny Watt. Yeah. Well, how'd I look, you peeping faggot? Well, use your hips more. It's not just about stabbing her. My baby. Who the fuck is it? It's just a ghost, sweetie. It's a bad time. It's always a bad time. Come on in. Just ignore the bitch. She's out of her mind. Maybe hang tight for me, all right? We'll finish up in a minute. Are you dirt diddling out of me? <laughs> you only knew the market and internet porn, brother. You'd be jocking that tube steak in front of the camera your damn self. This is good. It's booming. You got no idea. Best move I ever made was employing my own cock, man. I mean, fuck chasing dope feeds. This is like shooting fish in a barrel but with dynamite. Well, it's good to hear you got your shit all worked out. Wouldn't expect any less. I actually came by to check your interest on something. Well, I wouldn't expect any less from you neither, Truby. I've never known you not to be working something. I'm guessing you saw the Jew already. Yeah, I ran into him. All right. Wait for me outside. I gotta get some pants on. Let me get one of them smokes.
paid a visit to our friends this morning. Diaper snipers? Yeah. Got a little out of hand. Shit, man. I don't even need details. Those twisted fucks deserve whatever happened to them. What you need from me? Just wait by the phone. If this goes the way I see it, I won't be able to ever come back. Well, we could get off what's in the guest room and be good for a while. I just need to know you're still reliable. Till death, my friend. Till death. Uh, you've been around the block uh, a few times. Watching the world turn to shit. Yeah. How do you find the balance? You see, my grandfather used to tell me this story about a war within his mind between two wolves. I said one wolf represented anger, superiority, ego, rage, resentment. Now the other wolf represented benevolence, passion, peace, and kindness. And then he said to me, I see the same wolf within you. Well, which wolf wins? And he said, what's the one that you feed? You know, my father, he used to say, the world's a bitch, son. As soon as she spreads her legs and you take a bite of that pie, she owns you. And if she ever catches you fucking around, not playing by her rules, she will take everything and leave your ass out in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say I disagree with that perspective of yours. Oh, uh, you mind? Little one's giving you a case of baby fever. <laughs> I can't help it. Look at her. Hey, I got you some clean clothes. You want to see? Yeah. And I got you some cookies. You still hungry? Ah, uh, you're right. There's no room in the world for a decent man anymore. Just a bunch of medicated droolers looking to be absolved by a congregation of suits. Boo coon prophets. Ah. And in this moment of divine insight, I can call it that. I don't apologize to anyone for not participating. 
was my game to begin with. I never injured anyone myself. You cannot lose if you do not play. So let me ask you a question. Upon your arrival, how much of this did you anticipate? Are you asking me if this was premeditated? Yes. I'd say what was thought out was always subject to change. I mean, a situation like this never pans out the way you'd expect. I hear that a lot in this room. I guess what I'm trying to say is that my goal was to stay true to the agenda and do my best to avoid any collateral damage. You know, I, I have a thing about tampering with the innocent. Why is that? How about this little girl? How did you assume responsibility for her, and what was the obligation in doing so? Well, that was all June. I think she saw something in Rooney that she identified with, but hadn't seen in herself since she was a little girl. You know, something she'd forgotten, but had been searching for. Did she think that the innocence of this child could wipe both your slates clean? Something like that. She's horrible, isn't she? Yeah. Where'd you find her? Everybody's looking for that kid. Hot in the rider. Locked up in a shed. I guess her parents owed, so we did away with them. She's lucky you found her. What's gonna happen? Keep 
just think there's a way to change the way we turned out. I don't know. You know, spent the last six years trying to figure that out, and when I realized I couldn't, I found myself right back here. Maybe she's what we need. Something is happening. Joan, we can't even save ourselves. Oh, I just need to get out of here. Well, that's why I came to take you with me. No, but what about her? I can't just leave her now. She's got no one that loves her. Why can't that be us? How long are we gonna be here? I don't know, Grandpa, what's up? When can I go home? I don't know. Bye. I don't know, I'm figuring that out. Listen, I need you to be strong for me, okay? I need you to be brave. I know how you feel. When I was little, I had to be brave, too. Something happened to me between then and now, and, and I got lost, but I'm not going to let that happen to you. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Come here. to understand where we came from, where she came from. When I first met her, she was six years old. She was raised overseas. Her mother was a prostitute and murdered. At the time, Larry was getting women from there. She came in with one of the new crops of girls. I still remember the first time I saw her. She was this little petrified bag of bones. Couldn't speak a word of English. Scared of her own shadow. That's why when she introduced me to Rooney, I didn't even have to think about it. I knew what June saw in her, even if she didn't. Hey, Rooney. Listen, I need you to do something for me, okay? We're going somewhere that's not that safe, so I need you to just trust me and come with me for a second, okay? Come. It's safe in here. You're just gonna wait and I'll come get you, okay? You can do it. Get your things together.
Somewhere warm or cold? You pick, baby. What'd you pack for? Hot or cold? Hot. Put a spell on you. Yes, love. I love you, man. Never. Oh, what's happening? Come back to the end. I'm not going anywhere. I just know this isn't going to play out the way we want. I can't keep running. But this is just... Whatever this life is, I think it's just to find the thing that you love. And then when we cross over to what's next, we only take those things with us. I believe that. I do. I don't want to go anywhere. 
warm. I'll find you. Do you understand now where I'm coming from with all of this, why I believe it had to happen this way? I'm tired of living in the darkness, man. It's all I've ever known, all that's ever known me besides her. You ever think about suicide? Hmm? I mean, really thought about it. Like there might be no other way out. It's a dark place to exist. And I've lived with the burden of that for far too long, longer than I can remember, and it's suffocating me. But at that moment, you can relay this verbatim to whoever you need to answer to who decides my future beyond this room. At the moment she asked me to put her down because she knew we'd be together, I didn't doubt her for a second. And I don't regret it, because where she came from and the hell we went through together, no fire, no inferno could top that. In fact, I'd invite God to the challenge. <laughs> God, <laughs> where do you find him in all of this? Never easy putting down family now, is it? Who the fuck are you? You know who I am. A 
what's important is that you listen to what I have to say. I'm gonna help you make a choice. You see, I, I don't find faith in life or death or what's been taken from me. Only in what's been left behind. Elaborate. I don't know that I understand. I grew up in the Midwest, tornado country. And when I was a kid, we'd hear the sirens and we'd all huddle together in the basement or the bathroom and wait for the storm to pass. There's this one storm that was particularly bad. I still remember the sound, the roar of it. But after it passed, the whole neighborhood came out to see the damage. That's what we did, everyone in unison. And I mean, houses were destroyed. Cars wrapped around trees, bodies of livestock, cows, horses, you name it, just strewn all over the street. But among all the chaos and debris, there was this one little baby deer, a fawn, just roaming among the wreckage, looking for its family, which were surely dead. You see, that's where I find God. And what's been spared from the madness, where innocence prevails, where all else is lost. That's what I found in June. That's what she was to me. Does that answer your question? I believe so. Where are we with all this? And can I have a drink? I'm, I'm dying of thirst. We're close, and yes. I have to run these files over to the upstairs office before it closes tonight, anyway. What can I get you? Just water. Sure thing. I'll be just a minute. changed. Got company. Oh, shit. Took off with the car and something else I couldn't afford to lose. Where's June? Gone. Where you need me? At the spot around nine. All right. This, but I can't eat it. Pope's in town. We're talking about Pope, right? Nazi wind talker? Well, do we still have to leave in the morning? <laughs> Shit, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? <coughs> Holy shit. All right. It's gonna be okay. 
I can't take you to a doctor here. Too many questions. Just, uh, just wait till we get out of state tomorrow. All right? I'll get you a fucking tetanus shot. I gotta go see my girl, but you're gonna stay at Mikasa. I'll be by H Sharp to pick you up. Crystal? Whatever this life is, I think it's just to find the things you love, and then when we cross over to what's next, we only take those things with us.
My job entails the screening, for lack of a better term, of the accused or condemned. I am what my colleagues and alumni sat in that chair call the gatekeeper. Which one? That one. Now you wouldn't lie to me now, would you? Why are you doing this? Order. You're gonna kill me in there, aren't you?
Gotta be the best. 